Now we're going to do volume 7, chapter 11, 12, and then 13. Yay! Wait, will this camera battery last? We're going to no, risk... Hold on, for, hold on for the ride as it starts this episode. I'm excited for it. I feel like there's been a lot of build-up. That's not to say there hasn't been action in, like, resolutions in these last couple chapters. But most of it would come down to, like, let's fight this giant grin. At least the resolution piece. Because, like, for example, at the end of 6, wasn't it? Obviously, it's getting to Mantle and Atlas, that is. The resolution. Ah! I guess we're far enough that I can do the intros. But I refuse! Yeah, but that you would notice that you're going to be spoiled on if you haven't noticed it uh, by now. So. To be fair, I've skipped most of them pretty well, but I, like I said, yeah. I've, I'm also dumb, like super dumb. I miss all kinds of shit. All right, crunchy roll. I know I just freak out. Freak out. To be fair, I think the only really spoiler thing in this first intro stuff would have been Penny. Yeah. Which I already knew about because it's on one of the chapter covers on crunchy roll. Good fight, he just fell out of slow with the guy. Really haven't got a beat in fight at all. Sorry, but damage, because if it's not flat, they think it was either you or someone else who explained to me that they had depicted damage on Aura better in the later seasons. Right, we're kind of flat. Though. It is very. My problem is, is, like I said, I've met the other one, but I always uh, have a real problem with phrasing. Or, or not even phrase, just like mixing up. So like I always genius, call a screw a nail you the first time. The top and called yourself a giant. I don't know why. Every uh, single time I've worked in construction for like 10 plus years. Uh, uh, I gave you everything you could have wanted. You chose that fat imbecile over me. Get it the big subs covered. I suppose in this instance, my brains and your brawn are evenly matched. You're smart, but you're not the only one who can count. <sighs> it's like I was counting oh, not out no. loud, mother... Uh-oh. <laughs> you attached him to the thing with a barrier? <sighs> Oh, is that his his still real arm? That was a little Cut too close for my liking, James. You already got rid of one. What's another arm? 
Rebuilding those rings is going to be such a pain. Okay, the rings themselves me, have created yeah. the barrier. I thought he had made it. Like I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I mean, unless you're hoping to add more metal to that body of yours. All right, now, where did they put them? Here he comes! Armless and all! What? Oh, I thought it was head about the guess. I know I've been criticized about this before for going for killing for the first option. I will sacrifice but how do you whatever it takes up? to stop her. Put him in a box. <laughs> oh, I hope you do, James. I hope you do. Having said that, I mean, Tyrion he seems Callos, pretty handily beaten. You're under so. arrest. I right, definitely gotta kill this guy. <laughs> It's not even killing someone, it's just, and not because he's a faunus, but because he's a wild, murderous person just put down an animal. Gotta be clear, I wanna be seen racist. Uh, but yeah, this dude's like worse than the grand. There we go. I'm wait I always wait for the transformation on Crow's weapon because it's like a big feature and I love to see them explore the weapon dynamics. There we go. I was wondering what her big thing was. It couldn't have just been regular ass hair. She had to do something. Since she doesn't necessarily have a combat related aura. Or semblance, sorry. Once again. I was like I said, she's got to have more than the arrows. She's only been showing the arrows for Where's a reason. That smile now? Yep. Very good leading. This is Clover, requesting prisoner transport. I need a full body lock. We have Tyrion we have that? in custody. Uh, I don't see what's his name, so he either took him somewhere in the cut or killed him. Salem. That or some other crazy, crazy thing. I love her because they always, like, usurp my expectations. Yes, they take it different. Was anyone road. caught trying to enter the school grounds while I was away? It's perfect. No. Are you sure? Still afraid, I see. Uh, now show me where you've been hiding her. Nearly forgot about those two. They've been so sleepy this whole season. I don't understand. Why would the general call us back without giving a reason? Especially with evacuation still going on in Mantle. You don't have to understand orders, kids. You just have to follow them. Civi transports won't be stopping anytime soon. The general says he needs us now. He needs us now. You all get to the general and find out what's happening. We'll bring Oscar and see you soon. General Ironwood? We have made a critical error. They left the the queen. Black Queen was the symbol Salem showed us before we lost everything. Her way of telling us she was inside. That it was too late. We stopped Watts. We stopped Kalos, but someone was here. They put this in my office to tell me that it... What if Mantle was just a distraction? What if it was just to draw us away from the Academy to... to... Sir, it's going to be okay. We've oh, got no. Mantle on our side Apparently. now. How do we know that wasn't part of their plan? How do we know they didn't want us to bring people into Atlas by the thousands? In trying to save everyone, we left ourselves most vulnerable. Salem has been one step ahead of us this entire time!
It's glass. Black glass. Hey. This was Cinder. She's alive? And she's here? If Cinder's here, then for all we know, Hazel's here too. Sir, this isn't over yet. We're with you. Come on, man. Are you with me? Oh, man. Sir? He's gonna be all butthurt about them telling what's her name or something. How did Robin know yeah. about the Global Communications Project? Yeah. I knew he'd be all butthurt. We told her. The night of the ambush. You did what? We were trying to help. What the? By going behind her backs? Wait. Does that mean you let her escape? Robin is on our side. She always has been. We didn't know that for sure. None of this matters right now. Loyalty always matters. <gasps> it's the Salem Bog. General Ironwood. Shoot it. The brave huntsman and huntresses bested Arthur Watts. Congratulations. Interesting effect on her. We stopped Tyrion too. Yeah. And we'll stop Cinder and anyone else you try to send here. Or can you stop Dear me? Girl, their goal was never victory it was merely to set the stage for what for me time isn't on your side james it's always been on mine the people of atlas have suffered enough surrender the staff and the lamp to me and they needn't suffer any further. Because I'll kill them all. That's... not going to happen. Simply accept the futility of your situation. And this can all be over. We've seen what you're capable of. The lamp showed us. It showed us everything. Uh oh, did it though? We've seen that you can't be killed, but we've also seen you fail. We don't have to kill you to stop you, and we will stop you. Lightning bolt. <laughs> Just random lightning bolt. Your mother said those words to me. <laughs> My mother? Yeah, I think we all assume this. She was wrong too. <laughs> oh, the silver eye powers are going crazy! Oh, and my audio and also probably can't hear. I don't know if you can still hear me. Uh, but no. There we go. That's Salem? Yeah. That's who we're up against? And she's apparently on her way. But we'd be alerted if any forces had approached the kingdom. We have long-range proximity it. alarms all along the coast and... They're offline. With all of the chaos we didn't notice. Watts must have I shut them down. Or they've already been destroyed. You probably want to pause in here then. <laughs> it's alright, it usually doesn't take too long. That's who to we're up, up against? And she's apparently on her way. But About 15 we'd be seconds, unless I have to switch batteries. The kingdom. We'll have, after this. we have long range proximity alarms all along the coast and. They're offline. With all of the chaos we didn't notice, Watts must have shut them down. Or they've already been destroyed. Finally thinking like a big boy, Ironwood. What? All of them? 
You said in your speech that Amity Tower was ready to launch. Was that true? No. No. You just said that. To lure out Watts. Ye. General Ironwood? I've sent your sister to claim the power of the Winter Maiden. What? When I realized we'd been compromised, I knew we couldn't wait any longer. The staff and the lab have to be locked away. I thought... you said we could keep it. Well, that was before you lied to me about the lamp. Before you lied to us about Robin. Before Salem was right on our doorstep. Before Mantle was nearly destroyed. And myself and my army were left exhausted. The timeline has changed. I feel like so all must those things would mostly happen even if they'd have told us. What that are our shit. orders, sir? We are going to take our plan for Amity Tower and apply it to the city like of Atlas. I feel like he's deflecting. What? It was Oz's plan in a former life, but he didn't take it far enough. If we harness the power of the staff and raise ourselves high into the atmosphere, the city's artificial climate will keep citizens and food supplies unharmed. Always out of reach of whatever Salem may try to send our way. But we're nowhere near finished evacuating everyone. You'd be leaving Mantle to die. Yes, I would. Yeah. We can't allow Salem to capture the relics. This, this is our best chance at getting the staff, the lamp, and the maiden as far away from her as possible. But. We have an opportunity to reunite the world. If we launch the tower, we can all work together again. We could even call for help. If we can hold out long enough. Sometimes doing the right thing means making tough decisions. You're right. And I think the right thing to do would be to stand our ground. Me too. Me too. Me too. Can we mix it up, do a little bit of both? We ran ourselves ragged, trying to save Mantle tonight. We try that again against an even larger force? But you're huntsmen and huntresses! You can't just back down from a fight! You can't focus on one single fight while trying to win a war. What's the council going to say? Nothing. Once I declare I martial law. Uh, oh, what about Robin? Who exactly are you loyal to? We're loyal to the people counting on us to save them. We are saving who we can. And you're standing in our way. It's John. We've got a serious problem. I was declaring martial law and abandoning me. Some of his more authoritarian stuff, I agree, but unfortunately, this is kind of where I'm I draw sorry line. it's come to this because he's letting his but fear until Atlas and the relics are safe, what you could be a reasonable judgment of trying to fight? We won't just let you take us. I know. Are you there? Ruby! Did you tell them? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oscar, where are you? Uh oh. Oscar, no! Yeah, there's a lot of people that thought Iron was doing everything exactly right, and that's just how you do it. And then there's a lot of people at the other extreme, and a lot of people in the middle. Yeah. My thing was, there were, and there always are, like, and people always forget that, and if they don't. F think it's true that people had this said it in one of the episodes I was like if you don't think that it's true that people need a little bit of control over them uh, if we didn't have limits on collecting water and hunting and fishing we'd all be dead because right. everybody would have hunted fished and fucked up the water to the point that no one could do anything we just 
just not trustworthy. Having said that, this isn't good either because he's just abandoning a shit ton of people without attempting to even save them, I feel like. Which is, there's a difference between taking like the most efficient action and the best action. And I feel like he's trying to take the most, maybe not even efficient action, but like, no. He's, taking, he, he's assuming worst, he's, I mean, he knows worst case scenario is coming. But he's 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 playing his his, his ultimate hand when it's only the beginning of the game, really. Right. So. It, it's a couple things. So like, and I, that's why I said earlier. I was like, well, thank goodness he's finally thinking like a big boy. In the case that you should think in the worst case scenario at all times. Right. But that doesn't mean you should plan only on the worst case scenario. That should just be part of your plans. Just yeah. like you should hopefully ban plan for your best case scenario that you all conquer and beat Salem and are able to launch your communications device and reestablish worldwide unification, which once again, there's like minor goals, major goals, and like big goals that are maybe not achievable. And I feel like you've obviously got the major goal of protecting the maiden and keeping the staff out of the reach of Salem and protecting Ma uh, Atlas. And those are your top goals. But you still do have the goals of protecting Mantle, reuniting the world, because those goals lead to your overall goal of, even if not killing or destroying Salem, maybe somehow beating, capturing, whatever, whatever the case may right. be of doing that. And so I feel like, once again, he did it earlier, too, where he had let his fear, right, by wardening off all of Atlas, he created an aura of fear that allowed them to infiltrate and run amok, basically. Yeah, yeah, and attempting to protect mantle on atlas he sort of made it a, a big beacon of fear yeah and it, to it's not to say he fruit. was alone but he definitely his actions were part of that right i was it was another one where it was like it was talking about the the uh fault on the uh mech fight right where the giant kaiju's coming and it's like oh well who's at fault for this well the both parties right because everyone takes actions but the impetus for the situation is them stealing the ship. So they're at least yeah. partially responsible for that situation. Then, of course, you got the old granny who is overreacting and uses the giant mech to go chase people, which is also probably a big part of the problem. <laughs> I don't know. It was one of those ones where I'm like, yeah, you guys f***ed up there, but it's alright, you, you fixed it, kind of. Alright, well that's episode 11, I guess we'll rock into 12.